The following video clip contains strong language. Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Duke. And like I said in my previous video, that this video was going to be weird. Okay, not that weird, but I mean, we we, we weird, I mean crazy because I'm going to talk about the new. Yeah, new, you hear me? New Assassin's Creed. That's weird, man. Assassin's Creed Unity just came out. I didn't even end the game and there's a new Assassin's Creed coming out. Okay, we're getting leaks of a new Assassin's Creed named Victory. So, let's talk about that. So, the next year Assassin's Creed will be take place in London during the 19th century. This new entry in Ubisoft annual open world action slated from release in the fall 2015. Will take us through the dirty back alleys and ratting stagecoaches of London during the Victorian era, a historical period that fans wanted to see in the Assassin's Creed game for quite some long time. Now, I don't know, friends. I saw a lot of people tweeting and saying, No, I don't want a new Assassin's Creed. Make something else, Ubisoft. Make something like, no, not Watch Dogs. Make something else, yeah, a mix with Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed. I don't really know, friends. I'm how hyped about this, about those leaks. If this is real, yeah, why not? Give me another that's Assassin's Creed in London. Yeah, why not, man? England, London, why not? So, this game is going to be called or codenamed Victory, like Victorian. And will be out next year on PS4, Xbox One, and PS PC, according to the person familiar with the game. So, friends, I don't know, man. Unity just came out. I'm saying this again. Yeah, we're getting leaks of new Assassin's Creed coming out fall of 2015. That's crazy. Unity just came out. That's 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 weird, bro. <laughs> That's weird. So, victory is something of a shift for the series in few ways. For one, this is a first Assassin's Creed game helmet by Ubisoft Cubic Studio as opposed to their primary Montreal office, which, ha which, which have led development on the biggest Assassin's Creed release since the first game in 2007. Friends, the first Assassin's Creed came out in 2007. That's seven years ago, man. Wow. That's, that's, yeah, seven years ago. Earlier this year, the Ubisoft blog teased the Cubic will be heading up to the future game in their analyzed, analyzed series, but they didn't say much about the game. So, they didn't say much about this game. <clears throat> they didn't. I saw some tweets. From Ubisoft about this but I was thinking about yeah it's maybe unity or rogue I, I didn't know it was about yeah new Assassin's Creed I didn't know that so we also heard that this will be the only main Assassin's Creed next fall unless unless something change we won't see two separate entries like we did in this year with unity and rogue so, Rogue is only for PS3 and Xbox 360, and Unity is only for the next-gen console. So, I don't know why they did it, because I wanted to play Rogue, because it's a it's a sequel on previous Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, I think, but I'm not sure. But I also wanted to play this game, but I can now because my Xbox 360 is broken. So, according to the person familiar with going on at this company for uh, company next year, Assassin's Creed is sticking to current gen platforms and seemingly leaving the Xbox 360 and PS4 behind. So, friends, if you're playing on the Xbox 360 or PS3 and you really love Assassin's Creed, you better buy yourself an Xbox One or PS4. Or a gaming PC. A gaming PC is also very good. You, you're getting everything. 
a bit later, but you're get, you're getting it. You're going to get the game. So, mid conversation, the carrying in attacks. So the assassin makes his way out. He takes out several area enemies. So like this. So like Unity, who are bearing Templar insignia while keeping his balance on top of a moving buggy. So. In Unity, we don't have cars, so this is cool. It's a bit cool, yeah. It's it's a change. It's something new for us. If you like Assassin's Creed, this is something new for us all. It's it's frantic. A few quick kills later, the assassin arrive arrives at the carrying crossroadway station, where he swaps his hood for a top hat. So when Enemies are chasing you. You can change your clothes when you're running away. So you can change. You can take a. You can take your head off, your hoodie off, and take a damn head and put it on. That's that's crazy. That's something new for for me and for the Assassin's Creed lovers, man. That's something. That's something new. So he runs through a crowd, ignores side quest. Stop that thief! Is a woman saying because. She saw it. That son of a bitch saw that we changed her head. So that's crazy. As he hunts down Bomber, who is standing among the crowd in the middle of the train plaza. Friends, I got one word. Damn. If you saw the pictures, it's something new. It's not like Unity, not like Black Flag. It's just something new. We got, uh, yeah, in Unity we got a, a, a little piece of the future. Okay, not the future, but the future in, it was 1931, I think. Yeah, so that's the future for the people that lived in 1700s. So, we, we went to Paris, and yeah, you saw some cars there, like, like in Victory. So... I think this game is going to be dope. If these leaks are real, if this game is coming out, I'm going to buy that I'm going to buy that game, really. Because you saw those pictures, man. It's something cool. It's something new for us. So friends, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talking about the new Assassin's Creed. Because yeah, it's I was yesterday looking on the PC and I saw, I saw it, I saw it and I was like, whoa, really, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say it to my friends, I gotta let them know a new Assassin's Creed is coming out, that I'm sure, 100% going to play on my channel, so, friends, I hope you guys enjoy watching, if you guys enjoy watching it, please hit that like button, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I appreciate every single subscriber, really. Every single subscriber. And I'm going to say, if I hit 100 subscribers, man, really, if I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. Because that's the way to thank my friends for subscribing and helping me. Yeah, because it's a hobby right now, but really, I love doing this. When I'm walking outside, I'm thinking about a video which video am, am i going to do next so friends as always take care peace he's going to be dead too yeah that guy was looking at the fucking damn fire and he saw me bullshit bam Shh, shut up don't make a sound die Fucking stop twerking and shit. Stop it. <laughs>